Hello, and welcome back to Crestorio. <clears throat> we are today going to be upgrading to advanced oil processing. And the idea is this will then give us the extra materials we need, particularly to make lubricant for um, robots. So, oops. This should be a fairly straightforward change. I'm just hoping I have the materials without needing to run backs and forwards. That is very annoying, very loud. Okay, so. Get rid of that. These fluids are now going to back So that's missing everywhere. Good. That's better. Uh, so what we need now is... So, as I understand it, there are some extra type of pipe entities. Non-return valve, overflow valve, top-up valve, improved pumps and things. So let's have a look. So the non-return valve, I'm assuming that allow, yeah, allows flow in only one direction. Allows flow when the input is over 80% full. Allows flow when the output is under 80% full. All right, so I think we can use this. So, the, it's really important that we make lubricant. We need it for our robots. And lubricant is made from heavy oil. All right, and where do I want to make it? I think I'd like to make it over here. So we're going to bring... Good, a pipe out at max jump. Just checking, this is heavy oil. Yes, it is. All right, so what we're gonna do is a really simple build. Set the recipe to lube. Good. Then, have an overflow valve. Here we are. So that will then go there. Then we can do light oil cracking. Good, so this can be light to heavy. Sorry, heavy oil cracking. Ah, this requires water, okay. All right, let's think of a better, better design for this. This, I suppose. Um, so we'll need something a bit like that. Yep, with an extra gap between these. Okay, then drag this. Hmm, this is... They still have ammo in. We're gonna have to do something about it. Okay, so. Cool. 
This will require water and it outputs light oil. Good. Then we'll need some, and I don't know how much of this we'll need, to be honest. So we can bring this back this way. Something like this. Uh, right, so the first first thing we need is to get our light oil out to somewhere. Then we're going to do light oil cracking. Okay, and this is light to petroleum. And this requires water as well, so that's going to use the same pipe arrangement. Okay, and let's take it out one more, so there's a bit of room for that belt. Um, there. All right, it's all it's all a bit spaghetti, but. Okay, so I want this coming in there, then this, whoops, there. I think that ties in. So then we can take one of these. How many more? Oh, several. Good, so I just need lots of pipe now. But in principle, we are now making lubricant. And I'd like to put that there. I'm pretty pleased with that. All right, so what we can could do um, is box it. That requires iron beams. All right. And I parked my car somewhere down there. So I need iron beams, I need loads of underground pipes. Good. So here's some underground pipes. This 50 is not enough. Let's set that to 100. Good. Um, rocks and things here is a turning hazard. Iron beams, they're made somewhere. Good. What was I was going to make with the eye memes? I've forgotten already. Storage tank. Right, I need some more iron plate. Here we are with some. Probably a second one of these. Uh, I'm full up of stuff. I can make more landfill. Good. Anything useful in my car? Pretty much not. Awesome. Right, what can I do? I'm gonna do laser-based things, turrets-based things, shooting, air purifier. I like the idea of air purifiers. 
Enriched ores. Okay, no real idea what that's about. Um, perhaps it's a better way of doing things. I am just blowing up cliffs because I'm able to. Just in case there was any confusion about that. Okay, so we need water. And I know I could reuse water from other things, but water is basically free and I'd rather just bring it in separately. Good. However, I can share the water between the light and the heavy cracking up. I'm perfectly relaxed about that. Good. And here we are. Oh, that's never going to work. Hmm. Trying to think of a place to bring it through. So I've got got a bit of a problem with all the power poles, haven't I? They're, they're not the neatest and the lack of neat is starting to lead to trouble. Okay, so does this have water? Yes it does. And this is complaining it doesn't have heavy oil. Okay, this is backed up on lube. There is heavy oil. That was ran the wrong way. Okay, so the overflow valve is working as intended. And then this is full of petroleum because there's no output currently. There we go. And I would like to put in, well, this is positive pressure out. This is positive pressure out. Yeah, that's fine. So lubricant now needs to go on the bus. And can I pick up my car? No. <clears throat> What's stopping me? Oh. All right. We're going to need another one of these at some point. Let's see if we can get rid of a stack of... Are we down yet? Have we got rid of it? No, and I've even put these down in the wrong place. So this should be too thick. Nearly there. Right, so I would like to bottle this. Good. Then a one-way valve, because I definitely only want things to be leaving here. I don't want it to slosh back. So that's this one. Oh no, the input has to be full for that. Flow in one direction, that's iron. Okay, we'll sort that out later. <laughs> now, where are we gonna put lubricant? onto the bus. So it's going to have to get all the way to the other end. Mm. 
All right, let's have a look on the map. <clears throat> so I don't know how many other fluids we'll need down here. We have water. We could bring this in to this gap here, but that's the one the water is on. We could bring it on the top one. And just underground around it. I think that's a fair choice. Okay. All right. So this can this, of course, exactly collides with something we've already got. Okay, let's have a look at these lanes here, see if any of them are spare. So, this is full. Do we have any spare lanes here? No, so it really is this top lane here that we're aiming for. Well, we'll just have to go in like this. Okay. And on we go. Okay, and how far away are we from the place we make pipes. Not very, that's fine. Let's go get another hundred. Good. So this is so that we can make electric engines. Because that's the next thing that stands between us and construction robots. Good. Okay, so let's grab one of these. I want to make electric engines. I need electric circuits, blue motors, engine units, lubricant. So that is three solid inputs, one output. We're going to have something like this going on. Possibly like that. Okay, so out, out, and that can go to the near side. And I'm moving up to steel poles now for the builds. Um, there's no point really using the small ones anymore, I don't think. Let's grab that. Put it down there. So we will have two belts coming in. Not sure how many of these I will need. Two, four, six, eight, ten sounds plausible. Answers on a postcard. This is not a ratioed out build. All right, just in case we need lubricant for anything else. Um, right. <clears throat> Circuits, motors, engines. Okay, there's green circuits. 
and there's motors. So I think that's something to put in as a pair, which means that engines are coming in here. Great, and this is all a bit crammed. Circuits and motors. Yeah, it is all a bit crammed, isn't it? All right, let's make a bit of space. So, if... All right, let's take that, move it back to, and I can do this obscene wobble there. May not be the worst obscene wobble you see tonight, but it's not pretty. Okay, there we are. So, this should all start coming in. This should all start going out. And I'm out of yellow belt. I'm out of red arms. But we have engines. So I'm going to call that an episode. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, please stay home safe and well. And like, subscribe, tell your friends. I will see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.